Hi, Pizzadaki here. So today we're going to be making potato gnocchi. And if you've ever had them, you know how delicious they are. And I can tell you the homemade ones are even better. This is a recipe I found on the internet on a video channel, on a YouTube channel called Vincenzo's Plate. I would recommend you check it out. He's got a lot of great videos on there. And this one in particular is fun because his, grand, his nana, uh, his grandmother, is making the gnocchi and he's helping her. And she doesn't speak English, so he's translating as, as they go along. But um, it's a wonderful recipe and, and the sauce that, that she makes is also great. Um, so with that, the um, potato gnocchi are gonna be, obviously you'll need some potatoes. I like the Yukon Gold and that's one kilogram. So I'd recommend that you definitely use a scale to weigh those out. 300 grams of your flour. She used the double O flour, so that's why I chose to use this uh, Antimilk Caputo um, as the flour that I would use for that. So again, that's 300 grams. The um, single egg will be needed for that. Salt, which will be used for your um, sauce. Olive oil for sauteing up the, the um, things that you're gonna be adding to your sauce. And then um, the things that we're going to use for our tomato sauce is a very fresh tomato sauce that in uh, the video that I watched, she used her homemade uh, tomato sauce, but you can make a wonderful sauce using one of the finer quality whole tomatoes, um, even you know something that doesn't have to be necessarily San Marzano or doesn't need to be from San Marzano, but it could be the San Marzano style, like um, the Cento has a good uh, version of that. Uh, but also there's some that you can get that are authentic Italian whole tomatoes. And um, you wanna, when you do that, you're gonna see how I use a hand mixer to just kind of break it up into a sauce and add the other things that you'll see here in a second. We have our carrot and they say use one carrot and maybe you might, if you have a large carrot, you might use three quarters or a half of that. A quarter to a half of an onion, depending if it's a medium to large onion, you probably want to use a quarter. If it's a small onion, then a half would be good. And then some celery, and you'll see how that goes in there. And then, of course, some fresh basil, which we have a wonderful uh, plant here that's going this year, so fortunate to have uh, fresh basil around. And then we're going to top that all with some uh, Parmigiano cheese. And uh, this is the Bel Gioioso brand, and uh, that's a, a good choice. And you'll see how we, we ended up having a larger block that we grated down and used that to, to coat our uh, pasta at the, at the end. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, one of the things I, I'll mention up front to notice is that when you're working the mix of the potato that you've put through your um, potato ricer and the uh, flour is number one, you want to make sure that that potato that you're using is cooled down. You definitely don't want to overcook it because it'll get all mushy. And when you're mixing it with your flour, you want to take a gentle folding in motion as opposed to trying to really push it in like you would with a pizza dough or a bread dough. Because if you do that, then it, what it will do is bring all the, the moisture that's in the center of that mass to the outside and it'll become really a sticky mess. So try to just fold everything over and work it a little more gently than you would with uh, traditional dough making. So look forward to, to getting going here and uh, seeing what we come up with. Questi bei panachini, quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non ti drai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo giro d'amor, delle belle 
gentleman for riposo. But she said, why don't she go to more? Frog Marieri, Popper Bacco. Grandus Ducky, Stretto Sacco. Schiopo in spalla, Chabla Fianco. Collo dritto, Muso Franco. Un gran casco, un gran turbante. Molto onor, poco cantante, poco cantante, poco cantante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, con le nevi e salioni, al concetto di tromboni, di fanfate, di cannoni, che le porre tutti i toni, all'orecchio fan fischiar, non più vrai, quei penachini, non più vrai, Quel capello, non più vrai, quella chioma, non più vrai, quell'aria brillante, non più vrai, far colonia amoroso, notte giorno di torno dorato, delle belle tremando a riposo, ma ci set vado giro d'amor, delle belle tremando a riposo. Marci set tua dulcino d'amor, che rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar, che rovino alla vittoria, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar, alla gloria militar. So we had our potato gnocchi and they were just wonderful. And we really enjoyed having those with a beautiful bottle of wine that was sent to me by a friend, Ryan, and I'd like to thank him for that. Um, it really added to the whole experience. 
We also found that uh, transferring the, the potato gnocchi from the dish towel into the pot is probably one of the more difficult parts of the process, but with a second person helping, uh, you can see how we did that, putting a piece of cardboard underneath and, and that did the trick. So definitely when you're cooking, you wanna make sure that you don't overcook them. Uh, once the, the gnocchi rise, then from there you wanna cook them for about two to three minutes. Make sure you have plenty of water and a good rolling boil going so that when you put them in, they don't just turn, the, the temperature doesn't just go down and then it uh, takes a lot of time for them to come back up to a boil. Again, I'd like to give credit to Vincenzo's Plate, the YouTube channel that I got this video from, and in particular, Vincenzo's Nana, who I really enjoyed watching her technique and how she interacted with her grandson. It was a, a pleasure to watch. The gnocchi that we had, again, was uh, wonderful. So you guys have a great night. Buona sera. Delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tutti.